A 32 year old female patient is 38 weeks pregnant. She begins to experience severe abdominal pain and has to undergo an emergency C section. The infant shows signs of respiratory distress in the delivery room and there was difficulty in passing the nasogastric tube through the nares of the child. What will be the diagnosis for this infant? Now, if you have a look at the options, that is the Chard syndrome, the Pierre Robin syndrome, the Stickler syndrome, and the Porter syndrome, the common factor in all of these syndromes is respiratory distress. Now, the cause of the respiratory distress is different for each of the syndromes. For example, in Porter syndrome, the lungs are underdeveloped. In the in Pierre Robin and in Stickler syndrome, there is severe mandibular micrognathia, such that the tongue falls back and covers the airway, which causes airway obstruction, which is responsible for the respiratory distress. So, what is important here is not signs of respiratory distress. The, what is more important is the difficulty of passing nasogastric tube through the nares of the child. Now, why is this important is because this shows us that the child has something known as coenal atresia. Coenal atresia. So, what is coenal atresia? It's a congenital disorder where the, where the nasal passage is blocked either by bone or a soft tissue membrane. So, usually the nasal passage opens up into the pharynx uh, and combines with the oropharynx. However, in such situations, that is when there is coenal atresia present, this is blocked, this passage is blocked. That, that is why there, the, there was difficulty in passing the nasogastric tube through the nares of the child. So, this is actually, uh, this actually points us in the direction of charge syndrome because coenal atresia is seen as a part of charge syndrome because charge syndrome is actually an abbreviation of several features that are seen such as coloboma of the eye, heart defects, atresia coenae, growth retardation, genital abnormalities and ear abnormalities. Now, we need to know from exam point of view all the different uh, disorders and their manifestations such as we, now we saw the charge syndrome and what is the collection of the features which are seen in the chart syndrome. Similarly, we know in Pierre Robin syndrome, there is micrognathia, cleft palate, airway obstruction, etc. So, such syndromes along with their clinical manifestations are important from exam point of view as they can be asked as a case-based question. So, here coming to, the, uh, coming to our answer, here the diagnosis for this infant is chart syndrome.